Good morning, Los, Ange Los Angeles. Wait a second, I messed that up. Good morning, YouTube. I'm Los Angeles Prepper. And we are going to look at Los Angeles. I just was looking at um, of our, somebody who just gave me a shout out, Prepper Bob, who has a ton of good content. Go check him out at Prepper Bob on YouTube. I was going to say like PrepperBob.com. I don't think he, I don't know if he has a website, but so he was talking about know your town. So if you're not familiar with Los Angeles and you might not be, let's start with the basics. Los Angeles is in California. It's in Southern California. The three biggest cities in California, if I'm not mistaken, are San Diego, Los Angeles, and San Francisco. I believe Los Angeles is coming in at number one. I think San Francisco is two and San Diego is three. Um, there are about 10 million people in the greater Los Angeles area, similar to the Bay Area. Zoom in a little bit more here. Some things you will notice pretty quickly. Uh, we are on the coast. We have the Pacific Ocean right here. And we also actually have some mountain ranges. I don't know if you're familiar with this, but we have some big old mountain ranges over here. Let's see if I can throw some terrain on this. Oh, I never can. Oh, here we go. One of my favorite Google Maps views. So Mount Baldy over here is at, yeah, 7,600 feet. So 8,000 feet. Yeah, so these mountains are um, some big old mountains. They are the, you know, I don't even know what that mountain range is, to be honest. It's kind of embarrassing, but um, it's Angeles National Forest. I'll go back to the map here. Take this terrain off. So I actually have, I live, uh, I live kind of in central Los Angeles area. But I have this big old uh, national park up here, a national forest national park. Um, and I actually have a few. There's a big old uh, Los Padres National Forest up here, which is a little more foresty. This is a little bit more dry, um, but a big, big national park. And of course, the suck all in here. So Prepper Bob, and I'll zoom in just a little bit into my local area. Prepper Bob was talking about knowing your town, knowing your area. Absolutely important. Um, you know, what is there to know about my area? It's very urban, not quite suburban yet. It's a little bit suburban, but you know, the multifamilies and stuff make it a little bit more urban. But we do, we are mostly, oh, excuse me. We are mostly um, residential homes. Kind of um, where I'm at over here. Zoom out just a little bit. So mostly, you know, residential homes in this area. Um, got a few freeways, you know, really nothing very exciting just uh your basic city life you got commercial areas we actually have a lot of industrial around here that's kind of an interesting thing that maybe is a little bit unique um i'm a little bit east of la and kind of in this like kind of like all in this area right here is a bunch of industrial stuff um you know kind of everything around that's all residential it's a lot more multi-family kind of in the west and to the south and in fact as far as just sheer populace the density is much higher sort of in the western kind of in lower parts in la because all the stuff that's more north um actually the density is kind of high south of 15 it's a little bit high to the west it's a little bit higher kind of in san bernardino but um kind of up into the hills and a little bit to the north uh, and a little bit to the southeast, uh, the density is lower. So, for example, if the power went out and everyone in the city wanted to bug out, I would expect a jump. In fact, let me go over to paint here. So, and this, this would actually be sort of an interesting, like, um, crop this a little bit. 
this would be like an interesting exercise, you know, where, where, you know, where are the people going to go and shit hits the fan or whatnot. So if I was going to draw some little arrows of where I thought like the mass migration would be, um, I think the pretty obvious ones are, oh, and I can't, darn it, I can't rotate it. So let's try this. So this would be a big, a big one. We're going to get a lot of people going this way. Um, this would be a big one. Um, and probably south. Honestly, South wouldn't really be a great bet because, you know, San Diego's right there. So I don't know how much trying to drive to San Diego is going to help. Oh, whoops. But uh, probably like that. So I am, I'm actually, believe it or not, I'm actually kind of in the center of all this. So ironically, and this is what's really funny sometimes about you know, city life is that I'm in the reverse bug out commute. <laughs> it sounds silly to say, but it, it's absolutely true. <laughs> so when the shit hits the fan, if people are trying to, you know, and I could even put another arrow like, like there and like there, because there's only two entrances into the mountains. So this is one of the reasons I'm really, I mean, there's a few other little roads, but these are the two big roads into the mountains. So if you were right here, if you were in the middle, let's draw my little, without giving up too much OPSEC here. Um, actually, let me make that fill color solid. Oh man, I give up. I'm so paint is such an awful program. I don't even know. I don't even know I didn't want to fill this. But at any rate, you know, if you're in the center and everybody in the city is trying to get out, what's the rush, right? As soon as I jump on, I mean, it's honestly trying to leave. Let me explain what it's like. Um, let me give you some examples of what it would be like before shit hits the fan. Because the one thing that we know for sure that we know for sure is that whatever people are doing now take that and multiply it by a factor of 10 or 20 or 50 and that's what could potentially happen and shit hits the fan take traffic for example now traffic's not going to be a problem for a while but at least initially we're going to see what i'm talking about in the morning everyone outside of the city goes the opposite way they all come into the middle so if I wanted to give myself a headache, I would jump on the freeway at 730 somewhere around here and I would try to get from here all the way to here and I would go insane. Conversely, and I did this a few weeks ago, I bought a couple of surfboards for the sailboat and I was in Santa Monica at four o'clock and it took me about an hour and a half to get from Santa Monica east to where I live. So I don't need to think about how big the, tra the how busy the traffic is going to be during shit hits the fan. I already know how bad traffic is during normal LA commute. So I guarantee you, if there's ever anything like, you know, fires or tsunamis or earthquakes or, you know, I don't know, nuclear attack on Los Angeles, if there's ever something that's causing, and obviously if I have to get out, I have to get out. But if I don't have to get out, everyone that wants to leave, they're going to be moving away from me. They're going to be stuck on, you know, they're just all going to be stuck on the freeway. Like, let me just look at the traffic right now. It's nine o'clock. You know, my camera is a piece of junk, but let me help you out here. All in the middle. This is all red. All going this way. Uh, west. This is all red. This freeway. All red. So, you know, in shit hits the fan, if you want to know what parts of your town are going to get blocked up, um, just look at it. Look at it in the afternoon. This is like the reverse way, right? 
But if you look at it in the afternoon, it's going to show you um, it's going to show you everyone trying to leave the city, and all these freeways are going to be clogged. So if you're kind of like in the middle, how, what, you know, what are you going to do? You're going to take a side street. You're going to take, you know, Garvey. You're going to take Whittier. You're going to take Washington over here. There's only so many side streets. Um, you're going to take Huntington up here. So for all you people that are like, I'm going to bug out. The best way to bug out is to bug out now. Um, I mean, honestly. If you want to bug out of the city, sell your shit, quit your job, and move into the country, like, in 2017, you know? I, I can't right now. I mean, I guess I could if I wanted to commute to college, and we actually have a guy in our class who commutes from Mojave because he works full-time out there, and he's <laughs> crazy, but, you know, I'm not going to lie. I suppose I could go move to the country, but it's just a bit much for me right now. Um So this kind of turned into a really long video and knowing your town, but, you know, there's a lot of stuff to consider. Um, bugging out, bugging in, what kind of resources you have, what kind of people you have, um, you know, where the, where the traffic flow is going to be. Um, it's, it's hard to kind of make contingency plans for everything, but this picture right here basically shows why I'm planning on bugging in. Because everyone that's bugging out is going to be trying to do the same thing that I am. So even if I was going to bug out, my plan is basically to wait until shit hits the fan. And then if it does come to a point where I have to leave, I'll just hoof it either with a bicycle or a wagon or something. But I don't want to try to leave with the masses necessarily, unless I absolutely have to, unless it's like, you know, I don't know, nuclear fallout. And if it's something that I'm just completely not prepared to bug in and it's just unrealistic for me to bug in, I will bug out. But barring that, I will be bugging in, doing everything I can to keep my shelter here, um, you know, and all my preps and everything secure. I have a very defensible building on a very defensible street. Um, I actually live next to a freeway, but I have a 20 foot sound barrier. <coughs> Maybe not 20 foot tall, but I have like a 16 foot sound barrier. My building is in the shape of a U, so we can park a couple cars in front and basically create sort of a giant fortress. Um, we can get roof access. It's a two story building, so we can get roof access and get a good vantage point on the local area. So I'm I'm set up at least as comfortably as I could be hope as I could hope for being in the city. But uh, want to hear your thoughts, you know. Have you thought about, you know, resources and forests and industries and what kind of flows the people, you know, how the people are going to flow in your town in a bug out? I'm curious to hear what you think. This is LA Prepper signing out. I will see you next time.